Okay, I wanted to do a little introduction to conjunctions first, because conjunctions are a very important part of speech. Um, <clears throat> if the subject and the verb are the most important parts of any sentence, well, it's the conjunctions that tie these kind of things together. So we've already seen that a subject and a verb is a clause, really, or in this course I'm going to call, call it a clause. Um, and I very often call non-finite non clauses, clauses that contain participles and gerunds, I call those phrases usually, because as far as I'm concerned, a phrase doesn't have a subject and a verb. But that we will go into in more detail in another class. What I want you to understand is this part of speech, these conjunctions, they join nouns, adjectives, adverbs, verbs, but also phrases and clauses. And the first seven conjunctions that we will look at, the coordinating conjunctions, they are very often called fanboys. And fanboys is just an abbreviation for the seven words which are the coordinating conjunctions. So these are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. And you can see they are only three letters maximum. Some of them are two letters. Um, but these are the only seven words that can join equal parts. They're very unlike the subordinating conjunctions, which join unequal parts in a sentence. And I'll tell you what that means in a moment, or I'll explain what that means in a moment. But these seven are very important. They, all, they also join all of these, yeah. But um, they, uh, uh, they join equal parts. And that means, especially when we're dealing with clauses, this is the most important point. When we're dealing with clauses, these seven words join main clauses. And when you see a main clause, remember a main clause is anything that you can put a full stop on the end of. If you can put a full stop on the end of it, it's a complete thought. It's a main clause. So you can say, I eat ice cream, full stop. That's a main clause. And there'll always be a, a doer, I and a verb, eat, in any main clause. Um, and so you can say, I eat ice cream, comma, and I eat sausages. Yeah, why not? But um, all what we're doing there is we've got one main clause, I eat ice cream, being joined to another main clause, um, I eat sausages. And we're using a fanboy's word, and, to join the two main clauses together. Okay, and in that sense, they join equal parts, they join equal clauses. The subordinating conjunctions don't, they join subordinate clauses to main clauses. Okay, and so only those seven words join the main clauses. If we look at subordinating conjunctions now and can compare them to coordinating.